It's 8 o'clock here. It's been a crazy morning. I'm really happy. So we're up to 4 bucks. 3 doughs. There was another buck way out there that I couldn't get on camera. It looked like a big 8 point. I don't, I don't think it was a shooter or anything. I just seen him in the binos, pulled the camera up. By the time I got the camera on him, he was, he was already in the, the brush. And I've had two does come through, and I couldn't really get one of them on camera either. And I just caught the tail end of what I believe is the other doe. So they're moving, they're cruising pretty quick today. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting them in frame, but we're going to sit tight. It's a good morning, and I have high hopes we might see something big come through.
Well, <laughs> yeah, that just happened. I, uh, I just ranged. I shot him for 40. <laughs> he was 30 exactly. The last time I hunted this tree, I sat over here in a different tree. And I remember that rub being 40. Well, it's 30. And I should have realized that because I'm like 10 yards closer. I cannot believe he come back in. I didn't really have a great shot. Um, I had some limbs in my view of the way. Uh, I could have tried to rip an arrow through there. I just didn't feel like it was ethical, especially after what I just did. I can't believe that. At least it wasn't a giant, but it was a good buck. That was a shooter. <laughs> He's young. He's dumb. He's a four-year-old, probably. That hurts. Uh, I just get worked up. I don't know what to say, guys. I, I just love this so much. I get so worked up about it all. And adrenaline, and, and I just have a hard time thinking, and I get super shaky, and, and I make dumb mistakes like that. believe we come back in. It's great footage. <laughs> At least we didn't wound him. That's always good. I know what you guys are thinking. I'm telling you I practice like every day. I can uh, I can shoot out to 60 when there's not a buck in front of me. <laughs> that hurts man. That stings guys. He didn't like it at the end there. We might be able to get him again though. He didn't seem too bothered. I'm gonna sit tight. You never know what else the morning brings. Nine twenty, and way across the field, there's a really big buck. I mean, bigger than the one I just missed. Huge buck, and I think he has a doe pinned down because there's two, there's two other bucks trying to get in there, and he's just staying right there. I'm kind of debating sticking the camera on that spot, taking the GoPro, <laughs> and just trying to make a stalk. I got the wind in my favor. I'm not the biggest fan of doing that stuff, but if he's bedded up with a doe, I can come to that brush. I just maybe grunt, act like I'm a buck, <laughs> plug him at 10 yards, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of doing it. We might do it. Well, I'll watch him for a bit. If he's still there, then I know it's with a doe. And we might give it a try. This is insane. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've never done this before. But that's a big buck. And 
he's letting a lot of deer get really close to him so I'm bringing my grunt call and I'm gonna see if I can coax him to just step it out of that thicket and just plug him at like 20. We'll see. Well guys, we got one arrow in a dream right now. I can't find my other arrow. And I was already down to two. I flung one at a coyote and broke the shaft the other day. And so, one arrow in a dream. That's what this is gonna be called right here. I'm using this slough to get down to his right. And then we're gonna try to go up the edge of that back of that thicket that we can see on the camera. I'll try to get close and just, just grunt and snort weeds to him. Get him to pop out right in front of me somewhere. I'm gonna try to climb this tree right here to try to get a view of him. But I think this is the lane that I gotta move down. I found him. I climbed that tree. I sat there for like 20 minutes. He's no joke, like 70 yards right in this thicket. He's bedded down with that doe. I'm gonna get to the edge, like I said. I'm taking my boots off. I'm gonna get to that edge. And I'm gonna grunt. I'm gonna get him to walk right at me in a posture. I'm plugging him. He's big. This is insane. What is happening?
big one just stood up and ran off. <gasps> I, I got him. I'm pretty sure he went down right there. He ran over there and went down. I'm almost positive. I don't even know what to say. Oh my God, guys. I, that wasn't even the big one. I mean, he looked big enough. I swore that was the big one. The big one was still somewhere to my left. I can't believe that. I think he went down over here. I'm almost positive of it. I can't even, I don't even know what to say. Can you believe this, guys? I think I shot him at like 10 yards. How was that? I can't believe that wasn't even the big one. No, it looked like the big one. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It wasn't even the big one, guys. Uh, now we gotta find blood. All right, I think this is his bed right here. I believe this is his bed right here. I believe he took off this way. One arrow in a dream. Can you believe that? Oh my God, guys. Can you believe that? And I just stalked a freaking white tail. I know we hit him. It looked a little bit back, but I think he, uh, I think I almost pretty sure I just watched him fall over over there. I'm almost positive of it. All right, we need to, we need to mark this somehow. I don't have any arrows, so I'm just gonna leave my bow in what I think is his deer bed. And I guess let's go over here, try to see what we can find. I can't, I can't believe that. Can you believe that? That's insane. There's no doe, guys. I don't, I didn't see a doe. I think they were just bedded up. I just got and stopped a group of three bucks. Can you believe that? What is this right now? I can't, I can't, I don't even know. Like I said, I seen him over here last. I, I almost positive I seen him go down, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It looked like he was struggling already. We'll see. We'll see. Let me just get over here. I don't have too much battery left on this camera, unfortunately. I hope the main camera caught all this. That would be insane. I need some blood. I'm a little worried. I don't see any blood. I know I hit him. Guys, I 100% I, I thwacked him. You can't. You can't miss that. I thought he was right. Right here. That's where I thought I seen him go down. Go down or start to stumble. Right on this edge. There has to be some blood somewhere. Where? Where? Come on. Come on. Has to be some blood somewhere. All right, guys. I'm going to look for some blood, and I'll reconvene when I find some or find him. I searched the area. This stuff's so tall, but I searched the area where I thought I seen him start to go down in. Now I just can't find anything. This stuff's so tall that it's so hard to see him. I could have walked past him like five times. I know the shot was a little far back, but it looked like he started falling over. What is going on? I'm gonna give a bow hunt, guys. I probably, probably should. God. I'm gonna go replay this on my computer see where that shot actually is and that'll determine what I what I do next um, no blood and I'm not finding it makes me think it was a lot farther back 
than I thought. And I don't like that. Uh, you'd still think I'd be some blood. I don't have a drop of blood. At all. I don't know how that's possible. I definitely hit him. Right? I hope so. Alright guys, so <laughs> we're doing a big time jump here. It's actually April 11th. Um, I want to go over kind of what happened there. I never did an end interview because I actually thought I lost that footage. I didn't know I had the stock footage until about four days ago when I was going through my files building this hunt. Um, unfortunately, I got the files mixed up and I, I never was able to review the footage to really determine where I hit that buck. I didn't look for another day or two and I have gone out in the postseason and tried to look through that area and I never found the buck. Um, never found no blood, never found no sign of, or any of that. Now, that being said, I was able to obviously review the footage here once I found it. I know what buck that is. That buck is the buck I called a big nine. I know he's alive. I have numerous photos of him through the end of the season. And I actually have a photo of him with a pretty nasty gash going across the part of his back that you can see here. Uh, my assumption is that I hit that shoulder. I was shooting expandables. And I don't have a high poundage bow, lighter arrow. So my assumption would that be that I hit that shoulder and I just deflected. It sucks, but at least he's alive and we don't have to worry about that. Um, big weight off my shoulders. I'm happy to know that he's he's alive and, and uh, a buck that I could continue to hunt. But I just wanted to give you guys the breakdown there. Uh, kind of a uh, anticlimactic end to the, one of the craziest hunts ever, but a lot of lessons learned here. We're definitely out practicing still, and we're switching over to fixed blades, maybe a heavier arrow. We're going to try to up the poundage of my bow and uh, remedy some of these issues. Uh, you know, I am just a normal guy. I'm learning just like you guys. <laughs> you know, that being said, I've made a lot of mistakes as well. But, uh, yeah, good to know the buck's alive, and, and at least we get to chase him for the 24 season. <laughs>